Stop telling me that my favorite character is a war criminal! So there is no defending that. There's... It, it, chopper. Chopper. Chopper is Chopper. Unlike the last two people I talked about, uh, namely Uncle Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender and Dalinar Colin from the Stormlight Archives, Chopper doesn't go through a redemption arc. Chopper doesn't try to make amends. Uh, uh, Chopper doesn't really seem to care that he violently blows things up on a regular basis, both people and droids, and is probably guilty of numerous war crimes in the Galactic Empire, and possibly the Republic. Yeah. He's done a lot. He's done a lot of a lot. But the thing to keep in mind with Chopper is that he has severe PTSD. You know the, the meme about the Vietnam War vet and, oh no, I hear the Chopper's coming. Right, as they they flash back to their PTSD. That's Chopper every time he hears a droid beep. Chopper served in the Clone Wars as a Y-Wing astromech who, during the Battle of Ryloth, lost his pilot. We don't know how long he served with that pilot. We don't even know who that pilot is. We don't know if we see Chopper for sure in the Clone Wars when the Siege of Ryloth happens. All we see in Rebels is... Chopper, crying, it looks like, over the remains of the Y-Wing that Hera pulled him out of in front of her ancestral home and repaired him from. All we know is that, to some degree, Chopper feels he failed his pilot and that he failed to save them during the droid invasions and the defense and possibly later reclamation of Ryloth. Chopper is a broken droid in more ways than one. Hera's done her best to fix him, but Chopper's personality traits stem from the fact that he has severe PTSD from the time he nearly died and the time that he lost his pilot. Yeah, Chopper's committed war crimes, but so do a lot of people who have severe PTSD, especially when they're fighting to make sure that those type of things that happen to them don't happen to others who can't defend themselves. Chopper a war criminal? Sure. But we need to take that with a grain of salt, because sometimes our traumas are what leads us to do things that we regret later. Just my thoughts.